What's up, guys? I am Dimebot, and this is your Sanitarium.fm news update for the 9th of May 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed Predicted Cyborg's takeover. Get used to it. It's going to be a Monday, Friday thing from now on. Maybe to give me a little break. Maybe because Lynn Samurai hates me. Maybe both. Probably both. Anyways, hey, remember this little game? Yeah, the one you're seeing in the background with the dude that you would all love to punch in the face? Yeah, it's Dead Island 2 from Deep Silver. Now, the game was originally supposed to you know, show up in 2015, and that didn't really happen. What they did instead was tell us that it was going over to Sumo Digital. Now, after quite the hiatus, Eurogamer has reached out to Deep Silver, and they have confirmed that it is in development at Sumo Digital. They are excited by the progress the team are making with Deep Silver's most successful IP, and when we are ready to share more information, we will. I'm glad for that, because like the Eurogamer writer, I kind of become concerned this one had sunk into development hell. Probably still is in development hell, and they're just trying to make the best face on it, but hopefully, you know, we get a good game out of it. Moving on today, D.Va! She's in Heroes of the Storm. She's the fifth Overwatch hero to show up in Heroes of the Storm. She's playable on the PTR right now, and holy crap, is she complicated. So let's just hit the highlights. She's got a pilot mode. She's got a mech mode. When she is in pilot mode, each basic attack reduces the cooldown of call mech by 0.5 seconds. As a pilot, she only awards 50% of a normal's hero XP upon death. So she's got a little bit of a nerf to pilot form there. But... She does have her boosters. They knock people back, and she can't be slowed while she's using them. She does have her defense matrix. It reduces damage dealt by enemy heroes inside it by 75%, but the mech can move and not turn, so limited mobility there. Oh, and self-destruct her ultimate in Overwatch? Yeah, it's not an ultimate in uh, Heroes of the Storm. Nope. Her heroic abilities are Bunny Hop, which requires mech mode. She becomes unstoppable and stomps every 0.5 seconds, dealing damage and slowing enemies by 40 seconds for 4 seconds. Or, in pilot mode, Big Shot, she deals damage to all enemies in a line, and Call Mech's cooldown is reduced by 8 seconds for each enemy hero hit. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Basically, her heroic abilities are taken from taunts from Overwatch, and I like it. It is Almost enough to make me play Heroes of the Storm. One Samurai, if you're watching this, you should probably ask me if I want to play, because at this point, I might say yes. Oh, and hey, remember all the controversy about Prey last week? Well, you know, Prey's out, and it's uh, been beaten in under 20 minutes, three days after launch. GG. Speedrunning community, you never cease to amaze me. Twitch streamer Draku posted the new world record of 19 minutes and 34 seconds. This is a freaking overworld, open world game he beat in that time. It's a 20 hour game and uh, we basically just went out of bounds and used the goo gun and some out of bounds trick and uh, climbed up the outside of the game and just, just beat it. Speedrunners, I love you and you guys are amazing. Alright guys, this is going to do it for me today, but be sure to head on over to www.sanitarium.fm for more news, more music, more videos, and yes, more awesome Dimebot. See you tomorrow.